Good morning everyone, Richie Rich here. Today, in this video, um, I am going to be doing something a little bit different today for uh, today's video. Um, so, um, so now, uh, uh, today, like, I was uh, busy yesterday, um, of, uh, you know, doing like info research on some cars, and um, I've got one of them down. The other one I'm currently still doing. Um, and it's gonna be about an Italian uh, hypercar, actually, which is uh, which basically like doesn't have like any components which will be suitable like stereo and all that stuff. Today, however, I'm doing something a little bit different. I have a lot of info on them, which I'm going to be. Uh, calling which is going to be called European driving laws so European driving laws so I'm going to be doing it in parts so like a part one two three and so on and so forth so it's like that uh, I've got like five different European countries I've chosen uh, to do driving laws on so I got <coughs> let's see what I got I've got Latvia uh, Lithuania, Estonia, Finland, yeah, Finland, and Norway. So uh, I'm gonna be doing them in order from the countries that I said. So I'm gonna be so the countries uh, like I said I'm gonna be talking about for driving laws is um, uh, is Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia, Finland, and Norway. So those are the five countries I'll be doing info on, and um, let's get started on the first one. So today is going to be about Latvia. So here we go. Um, if you guys uh, want to see more videos, or if you like this video, uh, make sure you subscribe, comment, be comment below what you guys think. It says subscribe, comment down below, hit the notification bell. Push all so you're loaded when I make new uploads. And how about liking the video as well? I get more likes on the uh, shorts. Maybe because people are like interested in more YouTube shorts than like videos that I do. But if you're interested in shorts, in like, well, in YouTube shorts for like smaller uh, videos, if you're interested in YouTube shorts, comment below if you are. I'll, I'll, might, I'll do more on those. I'll do more uh, YouTube shorts. I promise you guys. So, uh, first one is uh, Latvia. Uh, so this is uh, part one, or say episode one, I think. So here we go. So the first one is Latvia. So Latvia, uh, my home uh, country. And the next one uh, is my birth country. I was from like two countries actually. So I was born in I was born in one, and I live in an in another. Which I don't know how that works, but it's pretty cool. So first one is Latvian driving laws. So I picked out some questions which I figured would be kind of suitable and interesting for me personally. What I, what I think would be the best options. So, um, <clears throat> so I got five of them so far. So here we go. So, um, Latvian driving laws. So the first one I put down is, what are the road laws in Latvia? Uh, it's basically uh, you should give way to vehicles moving on the right side, which they say is right hand rule or give way to the right uh, unless otherwise uh, established by the rules slash road signs. Uh, the minimum age for driving uh, so the minimum age for driving is uh, 18 years. So the minimum, the minimum age for driving for driving is uh, 18 years. The blood out al the blood alcohol uh, content of drivers should be zero. So like should have no alcohol in them whatsoever whilst they're driving. Otherwise, if they will, then then they'll get pulled over and questioned questioned uh, by the police. So yeah, the minimum age for driving is 18 years. The the minimum the minimum age for driving is 18 years uh the blood alcohol content of drivers should be zero the driver the drive so both the driver and all passengers 
all so the driver and all passengers must wear a seat belt so what does a red red license plate mean in latvia on vehicles on the diplomatic corps the coding also consists of two letters a hyphen and four numbers the plates would be would be colored black letters on a red background how much is a speeding ticket in latvia for motorcycle and cars i put down and uh, it also comes down to the speed you're going at so uh for 11 kilometers an hour to 20 kilometers an hour which is like 6 to 6 to 12 miles an hour which is 40 euros or a warning or 20 euros or a warning if you go it depends on like what kind of speed you're going on and what uh, price it will be for the higher speed you get paid more i mean you have to pay more if you're going at a lower speed you you'll pay less so yeah from 11 kilometers an hour to 20 kilometers an hour which is 6 to 12 miles an hour uh 40 euros or warning or 20 euros or warning uh from 21 to 30 kilometers an hour which is 13 to 18 miles an hour which is 80 or 40 uh, euros say 80 euros or 40 euros from 31 to 40 uh, kilometers an hour which is 19 to 24 miles an hour 160 to 80 euros that's crazy in europe it just costs like so much money there depending on where about you are in other countries it will cost like a lot more money from 41 to 50 kilometers an hour which is like 25 25 to 31 miles an hour 240 to 360 euros or 160 to 220 euros that's insane a lot of money it's crazy amounts of cash so what is the speed limit on the a1 in latvia uh the high uh uh wait hold on hold on sorry, sorry. uh the a1 highway near skolte which is spelled s-k-u-l-t-e skolte on the sol on the sol on the sol krasti uh bypass and other sections the speed limit outside of populated areas is 100 kilometers an hour which is 60 miles an hour so 60 miles an hour in the summer and 90 kilometers 90 kilometers an hour 56 kilo so 90 kilometers an hour 56 miles an hour in the winter so depending on the, like the season the speed changes the permitted the permitted speed along adazi which is spelled a and it has a line on the top d a z or z and it's got a little v on the top and then i is 80 kilometers an hour which is 50 miles an hour in in all other sections outside the populated areas the permitted uh speed is 90 kilometers an hour which is 56 miles an hour what is the road speed in latvia uh, well estonia latvia and lithuania are considered to be a safe destination because they're like part of the baltic states so yeah, estonia latvia and lithuania are considered consi considered to be a safe destination like i said because those three countries are part of the baltic states sorry there's just a helicopter flying miles away <laughs> So yeah, uh, next up is the national speed limits. Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. 50 kilometers an hour, 31 miles an hour in built up areas, and nine, so 50 kilometers an hour, 31 miles an hour. So wait a minute, I gotta say this again because I, I keep forgetting. 50 uh, kilometers an hour, 31 miles an hour in built up areas, and 90 kilometers an hour. 56 miles, an, so 90 kilometers an hour, 56 miles an hour, out so 90 90 kilometers an hour 56 miles an hour outside if no other outside if no other speed limit if no other speed limit is signed posted in lithuania highways have a speed limit of 110 to 130 kilometers an hour which is 68 to 80 miles an hour and that is it guys uh, for this video uh, that was part one done next up we got part two which will be lithuania uh speeds so uh this is a little bit messed up because I, I just got soaked a little bit in the water but that's totally fine so uh latvia is complete
So that's good. Next up we got is Lithuania. So stay tuned for part two next. So I'll be back for part two and I'll see you guys there. So that was Euro. So I will call it European driving laws. So this is European driving laws part one or episode one. I'll just call it part one because episodes I feel like it would just be taking too long. So, um, yeah, so, uh, I don't know what to call it. Part one, episode one, who knows? So, this is Europe, so this is, uh, European driving laws, episode one, Latvia. Next up, we got, we got European, so this is European driving laws, European driving laws, part one, Latvia. Next up, we got Europe, European driving laws, part two, next. Which is Lithuania. So, stay tuned for part two. So this will be European Driving Laws Part 2. So I'll see you guys for Part 2.